Hi, my name is Georgia and I'm a photographer. Uh, I started in high school. I started, well I guess I, I started when, when I was quite young. Um, I, my mum found it difficult to entertain me all the time because I needed lots of stimulation. So she started getting me a little tiny throwaway plastic cameras kind of thing. We'd take them to the chemist and um, get them all developed. And then I started shooting music, live bands and promotion in high school. That kind of developed with friends, bands needing promotional shots or you know live shots. Um, I went and worked as a photojournalist for a couple of years and then um, after that I moved to Perth and I started my business and I've been shooting a huge range of things since. I shoot mostly on film, 35mm film, um, otherwise medium format, large format film. Besides that, um, if I don't have a film camera available I shoot digitally and I do lots of like corporate and, and work on digital cameras. And for the moment, uh, most of the work that I'm showing tonight, I'll be showing film work and that's all fine art work. So that's um, mostly created through traveling. So, and it's when I feel a really strong, I always feel this really strong pull to shoot. So when I have that moment and only when I have that moment as well, I really try not to waste film on something I don't really want to photograph or I don't think will come out really nicely. Um, so that's when I shoot, that's when I take the picture. I really like blur in my work and um, I think that, I, that blur can sometimes help you see more of an image than even when it's in focus. But obviously it's a very fine line between, you know, having an out of focus picture that's that's just an accident and having something that you've really crafted and you've spent time focusing on and composing the image. So it's a mix between colour and black and white, mostly the film aesthetic, those kind of colours and I really like that the process of shooting on film as well is reflected in my work and that's why, you know, I'll print on really soft textured cotton paper and frame them up with lots of space. That's all part of the process, shooting on film and framing them like this. I get influenced by everything, as I'm sure a lot of artists do. It's, to be honest, probably the, like, it's conversations with people that I meet when I'm traveling or ideas that spark me. I really get inspired by light. So sometimes I'll see a piece of light or a pattern in light. And that's often when I feel this pull to photograph something is when I'm I'll see this un unusual piece of light or someone's face is caught in a little, a certain way that I don't see so often. So I think these small, very small pieces of light, I guess. And then besides that, um, beautiful landscapes that I haven't seen before. Um, and then with that travel photography is making sure I'm shooting things that aren't just things I haven't seen before, but that things that are actually visually interesting and that can translate as well to, to a lot of people because I would love to share my work. I would ideally like everybody to enjoy my work. Um, I would like a wide audience to enjoy my work. Um, I guess in the end, like as artists, we're really making work that we enjoy. So when I'm shooting, I'm shooting things that I think are really beautiful and I, I think I spend a lot of time shooting for other people or shooting in a way that I was influenced by another photographer you know, one of the greats or influenced by another artist and I would try and recreate it. But then in the end, I'm really, I've found more success and, and I've found I like my work better when it's stuff that I really like shooting myself. So the stuff that I'm showing tonight is kind of a risk because it's stuff I haven't shown before. This is stuff that I really love myself, which I don't know if other people will like yet. I think that for me, photography is, is the whole process. So. When I shoot, it's not, it's not kind of the final product, it's this whole process. So for example, I made a book last year from my travels in Bangladesh and it was the whole process of being there and shooting and researching and then, you know, physically making a hard copy of this book and writing it all in. It was the thing that I love about this work is the whole process um, and being slow about it as well and not not egging on for a big product at the end, but to take time with my work and 
to experience it properly and to take care with my work. So um, the, the frames that I'm showing tonight, you know, I've spent a, a long time choosing my images and printing them up over a couple of months, you know, choosing my table um, that I made for showing my work. It's all like this long process that, you know, I don't want to go too far and fall into it and get selfish about it, but I think that it's important that I'm taking time to develop my aesthetic because I'm obviously, everybody's still learning. So I would really like to just shoot fine art. Um, I would really love to do that. But at the moment I'm using my skills to shoot um, corporate work and weddings, things like that, which I still really love doing. And I love being able to make, you know, fantastic images for people that really enjoy my images. That's what I'm using my skills for. Um, and you know, shooting fine art on the side. So I think the ultimate goal is to be able to shoot fine art all the time, to shoot film all the time, to have my own dark room will be sweet. I don't know if that will happen. My name is Georgia and I'm a raw artist.